Hi, hi everyone, welcome to today's video. This is Jen. So uh, if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about girly stuff, shopping, uh, luxury items, beauty, skincare, makeup. I do a lot of vlogs, uh, shopping vlogs and unboxings and reviews. Of course, all my honest thoughts. So I hope you guys like the Bulgari vlog that I did earlier, the first part of this video. So um, I was at uh, Bulgari in Pavilion with my sister and my mom. My sister is back from Singapore. Um, so it was pretty fun. So I'm pretty excited. And today will be the first day of Chinese New Year because I'm releasing this on Tuesday, which is the first day. So happy Chinese New Year, happy Year of the Tiger. Uh, so that was Cantonese um, as for uh, uh, rest of my audience who is not Chinese. So today um, when I went to Bulgari, this I love, love the packaging, the uh, bronzy gold uh, Bulgari signature colors, I guess. And uh, it says Bulgari, uh, Rome. Uh, Rome is, I guess, the headquarters of Bulgari and it was super fun, like it was very festive, etc. And as you probably know, I have a, a two vlogs that I've done before at Bulgari. So do take a quick look at those videos if you're interested, where I focus a lot more on jewelry items. So obviously the item that I got today is not jewelry. I got um, a small leather good. I got the leather accessories from Bulgari. So I did get nice pack of um, Ang Pao packets or red packets. Um, so we call these you know, red envelope, basically direct translation, like Sifong uh, from Bulgari, very festive looking, so pretty, um, pretty cool, love the design. So they gave me two boxes and I uh, gave one to my mom already. So let's get right into the item. So I do, as usual, there is the receipt, the folder with the receipt inside. And then, um, yeah, here's the box. I'm sorry about the bow guys, so it kind of loosened up and I had to retie Obviously, I'm not a good uh, bow tire, so to speak. I really, really admire how my essays always do it so well. So that's the bronzy gold ribbon and the smooth box. Very nice. Uh, and the authenticity card in here. So apart from doing unboxing, I'm also going to share with you guys like some lucky tips. Or good luck tips for new wallets you know that i've learned from um you know watching oops watching a lot of feng shui videos i guess and reading so i used to read a lot about all this kind of stuff earlier so i'll share some of the tips that i found which i think are quite uh it does make sense they do make sense i'm not sure if they really work but you know a lot of things are in your mind right so if it's not too difficult to follow i would kind of use the tips that i find so here's the item guys, I got a Serpentine wallet in this very soothing uh, foresty green um, and it is full leather and it has obviously the special part is the snake head, viper head that's used in uh, Bulgari, the house throughout its jewelry, um, it's very famous Serpentine range, the watch and of course the leather items. So it is used as a clasp here, love the fact that the snake head is made of black and white enamel and it has malachite eyes. So I love malachite. I love malachite the stone, which is supposed to be a heart chakra stone. And I'm a Libra, so apparently um, Libras do well with heart chakra stones. So I don't know, so we'll see. But love the fact that, you know, Bulgari is one of the very few houses that uses stones in its um, leather accessories or its handbags as well. So I was also looking at uh, another handbag just now, but I was like, oh, yet another small handbag. Probably not yet, not yet another, not another small handbag since I just got my Pro Crush Mini from Chanel. So do check out my unboxing on my Pro Crush Mini. All the videos I mentioned will be linked in the description box down below. So let's take a look at this wallet, guys. As you can see, it is rather large, so it can be used as a clutch as well. It has 12 compartments in total. A uh, one here, a slip pocket here, a larger one here, and then um eight card slots, a coin, a kind of a zippered compartment, and also another little tighter slot here, and finally a tight slot here. So it is um the claps is just a button. It says Bulgari at the back. So it is quite a tall wallet as well, quite wide. Uh, tall, I mean, sorry, so I think, you know, it will fit my phone, which I'm using to film right now, my 
iPhone 12 Pro Max and also um, probably car keys if I'm in a jiffy and I just don't feel like using a handbag so I can use this uh, and I can probably add a chain to if I really wanted to but probably will not do that um, they do have wallets on chain as well at Bulgari so do check them out if you're interested so okay let's get into uh, what I'm gonna fit in here so obviously I don't think I need to show you guys how the cards fit obviously they fit a lot of cards but probably just one card per slot uh, because the slots are pretty tight and then I have some cash here so I'll put the cash in here in this space the larger space and these areas are great also for whatever you know I, I don't know whatever PNC things that you might want to put you know I don't know family photos etc and yeah I'll probably put a crystal in as well just because you know I love crystals so okay let's get into the tips right guys so firstly there are a lot of Feng Shui masters nowadays who actually talk about you know how you should use a long wallet because you do not need to fold your cash so obviously you know I've been folding my cash for my I've been holding folding my cash in my mini I mean my Chanel boy coin purse as you can see it's so messy gosh I need to organize it but you know I have no choice when I want to use mini bags right obviously a long wallet is not going to fit into a mini bag so a second tip is obviously the color so a color green is what I like I've been liking green a lot recently so you know it's just a personal preference and I feel I and I do believe that everybody's lucky colors might be different depending on your elements etc if you really want to get into it you need to check out your own elements on your uh, birth chart so you have the day month year and time element so you kind of need to check which element is missing in your chart uh, so we have five elements right wood uh, fire earth um, metal and water so obviously green stands for um, the wood element so this year is the year of the water tiger guys so there's a lot of uh, water element and also of course uh, apparently a lot of wood elements of uh, as well during this year so you know if you really want to get into it you need to check out your birth chart check out which element is missing from your birth chart and try to use a uh, colors in the element that's missing to kind of make up for it so all in all it's all about balance right i feel like feng shui is almost like uh you know a study of nature kind of so um you, if you notice right when people talk about elements it's always about how you should balance the elements in your life so that's uh about the color another thing is of course anything that makes you feel happy when you look at it kind of sparks joy in a way is usually naturally good for you because uh, we ourselves should have kind of we do have an innate ability uh, to discern what is good for us or rather if you have a particular affinity with a kind of color uh, a stone a crystal or just anything so you know the more you look at it the happier you get so it's kind of all in the mind kind of so i guess that's where the luck element comes in uh, or comes from so that's the color uh, the size and, and thirdly i think which kind of does make a lot of sense is to keep your wallet organized and not to have like random receipts and papers and you know notes that have nothing to do with money inside your wallet so your wallet is it's kind of a home for your money so I'm not sure how um, effective these tips are but you know if it's not too difficult just give them a try I guess which I am going to so those are the tips and also when you get even if you give a wallet to someone you should not give an, an empty wallet to anyone so it's great to actually put a little bit of cash inside and always try to keep uh, you know when you get a new wallet just put in some cash as well so just sharing some of these tips that I've came across uh, in terms of the wallet itself I do love the design I love the stitching uh, workmanship seems really really good even though it's a jewelry house so obviously it's made in Italy and we know that Italians are pretty famous for their leather goods craftsmanship including jewelry of course so Bulgari has started Bulgari basically started their leather goods the handbags and the wallets etc in the 1990s so they have been around for a very long time so this is a classic piece from Bulgari from the classic serpentine line love the enamel head and the malachite eyes I think it's going to be a pretty unique piece um, to be honest it was quite difficult to get a green wallet from the other brands trust me guys I tried Chanel Dior um, 
I didn't look at LV. So my essay couldn't get me a green wallet from Hermes. So when I, you know, kind of randomly walked into Bulgari, I was like, oh, okay, this is a nice alternative, very unique. So I'll probably be able to use this as a clutch as well, uh, as I mentioned. And yeah, guys, I am quite excited to try out Bulgari in terms of the leather goods. I also found a very nice bag, but it's a mini bag, so probably not. As I mentioned earlier so this is a quick little unboxing guys well meanwhile watch this far please do give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel really appreciate it and do let me know if you have any questions let me know what's on your wish list at Bulgari or what you recently got love to hear your thoughts and love to share notes and so uh, yeah DM me on Instagram or leave me a comment here or even email me and let me know if you need any essays at Bulgari because uh, my essay at Bulgari she's Super uh, nice, very good, very efficient uh, at Pavilion uh, Bulgari. So do let me know. So um, yeah, again, happy Chinese New Year. And I hope to see you soon. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.